For more updates, click on subscribe and click on bell button for latest notifications. Hi friends, welcome to Tech ARK IT YouTube channel. My name is Raveen. In this video session, we are going to see that Ansible Vault. So how you can protect your playbooks and the confidential information like example the important port number you use on the playbooks or the the passwords or the SSL secret keys anything if you want to protect against like um, it, it you don't need to explore anything uh, or you wanted to encrypt them then Ansible Vault is the command you can use to create your Ansible encrypted playbooks and decrypt it or edit it or view it so this is the um, options with the ansible vault so let's see this how you can do that example same um, i want to create a simple playbook okay so which may be uh, do on a ping to the remote host and come back here okay so but i don't want to see anybody else which who knows the password of that playbook so in similar way what you can do here it is that um, ansible vault and say create so i say simple dot yml is the file i would like to create it okay let's say i brought the password now it will ask you to write the playbook so here is the playbook i'm just writing here say ping server okay i say host all and uh, i use tasks as ping module i'm just using the ping module okay so this is the way I just use the playbook. So this is the way uh, I just used to ping to the remote host. So if I see this, what is the simple dot yml file looks like? So this is a completely encrypted file. But whenever you run that, it runs. Okay, but how you can run? Example, say Ansible um, playbook, and say simply specify that uh, here. So it says that it is already encrypted so you cannot run it so if you want to run that playbook so what you have to do iphone iphone vault ask pass so this is the way you have to sorry it's not um, ask vault so it's something different like ask vault password so this way so it will ask for the password if you do this then it uh, executed so but it has some error on the playbook so that's why it's not able to execute it so this is the way so you can in create an encrypted playbooks using the create otherwise if you want to use an existing playbooks okay these are the playbooks we used in previous sessions i want to encrypt one of these playbook so example say that um, I would like to see this playbook here. So this playbook is SC Linux status changing uh, playbook. So I'm going to encrypt this one. So Ansible vault. So what you can do encrypt and say the file name. So here it will ask you for the password and provide the vault password and remember the password. So now the file got encrypted if you cat it so you cannot do anything so you just uh, able to see some numbers okay but if you want to execute that playbook playbook and say sc linux iphone ask vault password okay then it will ask you for the password then you can enter the password and it will execute the playbook so this is the way what you can do you can encrypt the playbook and run the playbook 
on the remote host or the run the playbook when uh, it will ask you for the password so if you have the confidential information example where you know what you have to encrypt in real world where you have to use it so basically you don't need to encrypt the playbook which does not have any confidential information right so where you do not specify anything like confidential port numbers or the passwords or the ssh keys anything you don't need to encrypt that playbook it's just a plain playbook which does not contain any confidential information you don't need to encrypt it right because whenever you encrypting a lot of playbooks you have to remember all of those passwords but if you keep only single password for all of the playbooks some way if the password is leaked then again the uh, anybody can run any playbook right anybody can decrypt it so now if you want to edit that how we can edit that encrypted how you can edit that encrypted playbook so you can see this ansible vault edit and say name so now it will ask you for the password then uh, enter the password now you can edit it and add whatever you want example say i don't want to run it in all the host i want to run it in only local host this way you can edit that ansible playbook and run it and uh, enter the password then it will run on here so sometimes if you want to automate so how you can automate it so i want to run this playbook from the some other source where it's already encrypted playbook so how we can do that so simply what you can do is that you can create a restricted uh, playbook like uh, So here I'm creating password file something like this. So any file you can create with a different name. So here what you can do is that you can enter your password in the plain text. Then what you can do while running that playbook, you can simply provide that playbook password using this string. So what is that string you have to use here? Um, vault password file and provide the password file path so this way what it will do is that it will not ask you for the password when it when you are playing the playbook so it will automatically run that playbook using that whatever the password you have written on the password file this again the uh, giving the password uh, uh, file uh, so that is not any way secure so why you have to keep again the password file but if you want to run this playbooks from the different uh, mechanisms example say that if you want to run it from Jenkins or if you want to run it from some other scripts or some other automation tools then what you can do is that you can use this password file mechanism to keep your password somewhere else and uh, restrict completely restrict access to the other users only the particular user can read that file then do this way so that something little bit secure but not exactly secure but you can do this way encrypted playbooks can be run from the password file so that way you can do it sir if you want to uh, see this content of the playbook so what you can do is that uh, password vault view and uh, specify the playbook name it will ask you for the password and enter the password this way you can view that if you have the password of that vault okay so and uh, you can able to decrypt if you want to decrypt this uh, particular playbook or if you want to change the password of that particular playbook what you can do ansible vault and say rekey say rekey and provide the playbook name so it will ask you for the password then enter the new password here so this way what happened the rekey has been successful the password has been changed for that particular playbook so this way what no need to decrypt it and encrypt it again you can just rekey it so you can change your playbook password so something like if you want to give the same playbook password to somebody else you can give it and later point if you want to change it you can change it
so that way you can use this rekey to uh, change your password and uh, let's see uh, ansible also provide a little uh, vault in this there is a encrypt string so what this will do is that uh, particular string if you want to encrypt it and use it on a file itself so where you can you want to use the instead of password you can use this uh, encrypted value over here so example say uh, my password is linux i wanted to encrypt that one so this way it will provide you the encrypted key here okay and you can just copy this entire encrypted value here and um, edit your file so where you want to provide so example say that uh, here is my variable which contains the password so here you simply paste it so this way this way so what you can do so variable this is not my exact variable here i say db password so this is my password okay so this way you can provide your password in an encrypted manner and you can call this variable wherever you want so that the ansible will take care of that decryption and provide the exact password to that so this way it will be helpful for the users to encrypt particular string and provide that string as an encrypted into the playbook so that uh, what you can do you can simply um, encrypted way of using the passwords so uh, are its most useful example here uh, like same ansible host so this is my actual uh, file uh, where i am using so the sensitive information may be here i did not used any passwords are uh, the uh, uh, if i if i specify any password here uh, i wanted to encrypt that one so the inventory file i want to encrypt so ansible vault and say um, encrypt and provide that path ansible host then it will ask you for the password enter the password then it will be encrypted so now i want to run some playbooks okay so here maybe i can take a ping test ping test is the one so i wanted to run it on uh, node 2 now ansible playbook and uh, say i want to run this i want to run this playbook so ping test you can run it but what it says that the inventory is not passed so you cannot do it but if you say ask vault password then it will ask for the password then you can do this way so somewhere like if you can create a new inventory file and you can encrypt that inventory file and you can directly run this so what happens you can in the way in the inventory file itself you can write any variables of the passwords and all the stuff then you can use that file as an encrypted to pass okay this is about guys so what you can uh, do ansible real time environments like where you can encrypt uh, create an encrypted files and de uh, decrypt it okay so example say if i if i want to decrypt here so i will show you how to decrypt simple decrypt and say sc linux and say provide the password so maybe i change the password here so that's what it does not take okay now you can cat that ac linux now it's changed so it is decrypted that way you can do a encryption or the decryption or you can delete the file you can view the file you can change the password using the rekey so all all of this stuff you can do using this ansible vault so the mainly ansible vault is used wherever the structured data can be encrypted or the um, example the password 
passwords or the ssh keys or whatever is the confidential information you wanted to encrypt that way you can use the encrypted but do not forget the password of the playbook so that you cannot run the playbook or the playbook will be gone into encrypted you cannot encrypt it you cannot do on a decryption uh, you cannot do anything if you forget the password of that particular file so that's about it guys thanks for watching stay tuned please subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos and courses please follow us on social networking sites uh, one is uh, facebook the facebook page name is uh, it linux arkit uh, you can click on this button here and click like page so that you can follow us on facebook the next one is instagram uh, instagram name page name is arkit.co.in click on follow button to follow me and uh, twitter if you have any questions on uh, subject line or if you have anything you can just tweet me at a Ravi Kumar 48 so I will reply you most on the tweet back for anything related if you want to latest articles on my website so here is my website details and email address details you can reach me over here